Well guys, it is launch day for the GeForce RTX 3070. Now Nvidia made a pretty bold claim whenever they introduced this card and they showed some numbers, they said similar or faster performance than the last generation RTX 2080 Ti. Now, of course there are people out there that goes, Keith, why did they compare the 3080 to the 2080, but they wanna compare the 3070 to the 2080 Ti? Well, let's be quite honest, it just paints it in a very positive picture from that measure as the outgoing TI card is performance is technically replaced by the new generation 70 class series. Now because here on the channel we don't do, well we prefer not to do 10, 20 minute long videos and take up a whole bunch of your time, rather just get right into the meat and potatoes of it and tell you kind of, well is it, is it really similar or better performance than the 2080 Ti. Now in this video, you'll see the results for 1440p with and without ray tracing support enabled. Um, if you wanna see ultra wide 1440p and 4K results, as well as overclocking and undervolting, go ahead and follow that link down in the pinned comment below. That is the full review that I finished up over there, several pages long and a lot of detailed information that will hopefully give you a bit more insight. Now, before we look at the results, I wanna talk about the card itself. So this is a, well, it's a G GeForce RTX 3070. I don't know what else you want. Oh, oh, I, I guess specs. So you've got 5,888 CUDA cores. Now base clock of 1500 megahertz with a boost clock of 1730 megahertz. However, this card stays pretty roughly around 1900, 1950 megahertz while running at 1440p. You'll see a little bit lower at 4K resolutions as the load increases. It does have eight gigabytes of GDDR6, no 6X here. It is on a 256-bit bus, giving you a 448 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. And as far as TDP goes, well, the total board power of this card is 220 watts. If you overclock it, it does a little bit more. If you undervolt it, it does quite a bit less. Again, if you'd like to see a video on the overvolting and un or overclocking and undervolting results, let me know in the comment section below. That'd be cool. We can do a video on that or you can just look at the review. It's up to you. All right, we did the testing on our X570 test bench with a Ryzen 9 3900X because there is no 5000 series available to us yet. And uh, we did 1440p results for these videos. Oh yeah, 32 gigs of DDR4 3600CL17. All right, let's jump into those results. Okay, there you go. Those were results without ray tracing, but what about when you enable ray tracing? All right guys, there you have it. So yeah, I mean, it, essentially it is. It's RTX 2080 Ti performance in the RTX 3070 package. Of course, you are getting a little bit less memory. However, what we found in the testing is we were rarely ever, I think Doom Eternal was about the only game that really impacted on the memory requirements past 1440p, but it seemed to be more along the lines of a memory bandwidth issue, not really the memory capacity. So as we, if you look at the results in the article, you'll see that by overclocking the memory, and this memory overclocks like a champ, it hits 16 gigabits per second, which is a 512 uh, gigabytes per second of bandwidth with no problem. However, this was only one card. I did talk to several of the reviewers who got up upwards beyond 16 gigabits per second on their memory without any trouble. So that's something to consider with aftermarket versions having a little bit more power to them. Maybe you can get more out of the core but the core only got about an extra 50 megahertz. Uh, so I found better results by undervolting the core and overclocking the memory. 
Uh, so, you know, let us know what you think about the RTX 3070. Is it a card that interests you or are you still waiting for Big Navi? Love to hear you down in the comment section below. And for more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.